What's on YouTube? It's PTT coming at you with another division video. And today, guys, is Saturday, so you all know what that means. It means weekly reset in the base of operations, Dark Zone 3, and all of the other vendors. Before we get too far into this video, I've got to say, guys, it is a very shocking week for gear and weapons in the base and Dark Zone 3. But that being said, let's cover them, jump in, take a look, and see what's up for grabs. So in the base of operations, obviously you still have the Historian. This is a marksman rifle and it will cost you 870 Phoenix credits with a gear score of 204. I've yet to do a weapon review on this, guys. I will get round to doing it, but do not get it. Stay away from it. Even if you need a marksman rifle, don't buy this one. Okay, you can get far better drops in the dark zone, so stay well clear. Up next, you have the Officer's M9A1. This will set you back 660 Phoenix credits, a gear score of 204. And again, guys, don't buy this weapon, okay? It is a shocking pistol with poor talents and poor damage. That being said, if you are after an Officer's M9A1 or you need a 204 pistol, stay tuned because Dark Zone 3 have some good blueprints-ish. Okay, ish blueprints. <laughs> Moving on, next for sale in the base of operations, we have the Military Scar H. This will set you back 882 Phoenix credits with a gear score of 204. And again, guys, this is a very poor marksman rifle. Don't buy it. Don't waste your Phoenix credits on it. I know there's not a lot to spend your Phoenix credits on at the moment, but even if you are in need of a decent marksman rifle, the Scar H comes nowhere near being even a usable, let alone half decent marksman rifle, okay? You would be far <coughs> you would be far better off with your Sockham or your first wave M1A, a custom M44, which was sold last week or the week before in the dark zone. And again, you can get better weapons dropping in the dark zone compared to what is up on offer with this weapon. So stay well clear from this as well, guys. However, there is an AUG A3 Para XS for sale in the base of operations. Now, this will cost you 206 Phoenix credits, although it only has a gear score of 182. With talents deadly and responsive, it isn't the worst SMG. Now, the third talent on this weapon is Swift. This is not a very good talent, but, you know, it's usable. It's not the worst talent that you could roll on it. I know it has a low gear score of 182, but guys, if you still haven't got a decent SMG and you're still maybe running, I don't know, the Vector or something like that, then this could be worth getting your hands on. <laughs> Moving on to Dark Zone then. The DZ03 vendor, when it comes to blueprints, is selling a custom M870 MCS. This has a gear score of 204, will require you to be of rank 75, and will cost you a little over 214,000 Dark Zone funds. I actually like the custom M870. So the fact that the blueprint is there and I can roll it for talents I want isn't a bad bet. Okay, I know weapons like the Sagius are indeed better. But I don't know what it is. I personally just love the M870 and the Super 90. With the weapon balancing patch coming around the corner, I'm sure shotguns will indeed get some love. So if you are after a decent shotgun, then I would suggest you buy this blueprint. Because like I say, you can keep re-rolling it until you get the desired talents you want. And as I said earlier about pistols, the Officer's M9A1 blueprint is for sale in DZ3 today. Gear score of 204, rank 75 required, and again, it will cost you a little over 214,000 Dark Zone funds. Now, the Officer's M9, in my opinion, just isn't worth buying for a pistol, okay? One, you very rarely use pistols, so it doesn't really matter what you run, but I personally prefer the M1911 or the Tactical 45A because they are so, so good when it comes to pistols. You guys know me, I love running a pistol, I do pistol whip a lot, especially running the Talent Repo Reaper because I get ammo back with a pistol kill. The fact I have a custom or a tactical M1911 that puts out over 100,000 DPS means it actually still packs quite a punch as well for a pistol. But it's up to you guys, if you are looking for a pistol, like I say, it's there. I wouldn't advise buying it, but <laughs> everyone to their own, you can make your own opinions on it. 
What is he selling for actual weapons then? Well, he has a first wave Vector 45 ACP. Gear score 204, it will require you to be of rank 80, and it will cost you a little over 96,000 Dark Zone funds. It comes with talents Dominant, Competent, and Unforgiving. So again, guys, very poor talents on the first wave vector. We know now that the first wave vector is like at the bottom of the list for SMGs, okay? You, you would be far better off running an MP5 or the best, the AUG. However, if you are still looking for an SMG and you decide you want to buy this vector, that's entirely up to you. But with the talents on it, I would definitely stay clear from this weapon also. The next weapon he's selling at 204 is the SRSA-1. Like I said, gear score 204 will require you to be rank 80 in the dark zone. Will set you back just a smidgen over 101,000 dark zone funds. It has ferocious, stable and skilled. Now, what I was saying earlier about the historian and the military SCAR H in the base of operations. They are very poor marksman rifles. If, however, you are looking for a marksman rifle, it is not the best by any means. The SRS is kind of a mediocre marksman rifle, but with talents as a ferocious, stable and skilled, if you can get them active with your build, then it will indeed bridge the gap until you do get your hands on either the first wave or Sockham M1A. Or maybe if you're a custom M44 player, then you could get your hands on one of them. But... Like I said, if you're looking for one for now and you haven't had much luck getting one drop, the SRS A1 would not be the worst marksman rifle to buy, but it's it's far from the best, okay? And that's it, guys. That is like the weekly reset video I'm going to bring you guys this week. I did tell you it was pretty shocking at the beginning. I think I might buy the custom M870 blueprint myself just so I can start trying to roll a good shotgun so that I can utilize my Lone Star setup with a shotgun and SMG, or maybe even my Lover or my Lightweight. Either way, I definitely want to buy that shotgun blueprint. As for everything else, I'm not going to touch a single thing. It's down to you guys what you would like, what you need, and what you've had luck dropping. As always, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know any comments you have in the section down below. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty more Division videos coming your way. And as always, agents, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I'll catch you all soon.